Well, welcome back to East Tennessee. We are still here in Crossville at Deer Run RV Resort for the heavy duty truck rally. This is the East Coast 2022 rally. And the heavy duty trucks are uh, the HDT trucks that have been renovated uh, into uh, RV haulers. So in today's video, we're gonna talk to a couple of the rig owners, and we're even going to get a walkthrough of a 2000 Newmar fifth wheel that has been totally renovated inside and out. So stay tuned after the intro. We are Ricky and Denise. We sold everything in 2020 and hit the road to RV full time. We travel in our Freightliner M2 truck, pulling our DRV JX450 full house that hauls our 2020 Harley Triglide. We invite you to travel along with us as we are soaring together. buddy with the you had the truck on top on the bed right. of your truck yeah you have a canopy over it yeah i put a canopy over it now that way i put kayaks okay. up in the roof and i got the bicycles put on the back of the back of the pickup and it's all enclosed now. Yeah. So, so the change you've made since we saw you in kansas was you put the canopy on and right. you and still haul the truck still haul the truck and then like i said i got kayaks that fits up in in the roof of the of it, and uh, that's uh, the only changes that we've made. Good. Did, I, did you ever get him in contact with a gentleman? That... Oh no, there was a gentleman that responded to my video of your interview. He was from California, and he was wanting to talk to you about how you did your bed build. Oh, okay. It was, it was really simple. I mean, I, I bought an old uh, Ford 450 with a rollback on it, and I just lifted it off, took my fifth wheel off my big truck and just and set it right. It, it fit perfect. Frame rails the same width, everything. And you did all that yourself? Yeah. Yeah. I had a, a friend of mine that owns a fab shop build a trailer hitch. But other than that, uh, we pretty much, everything was... Uh, in my own garage. Yeah. So. Well, I'll get your name and number.
Well, next we're going to visit with that owner of the 2000 Newmar fifth wheel that has been renovated from the inside to the outside. And they have a beautiful rig. They have a KW truck, motorcycle, and a smart car. So we're going to go inside and talk with the owner and see what all she's done to this rig. It's a 2000 uh, Newmar that we've totally redone inside and out. And um, I mean, the main reason we got it was the dual tandem axles. Dual That's what he won. So, and apparently Newmar, uh, older style Newmars are the only ones that you can find that. We didn't tear the walls out, but we repainted everything. Mm -hmm. And um, redid pretty much everything. I mean, um, you know, lighting, flooring, paint, um, furniture. Very open concept because of all the windows. Right. Like you're in that's, a sunroom. That, that's yeah. the one thing I loved about the floor plan was mm -hmm. the windows and um, I love the modern. Yeah, I like, you know, yeah. it's hard to find that in a new camper even. So I kind of got to pick everything. Yep. Um, this one, I liked the floor plan with the split bathroom. Mm -hmm. Um, got the toilet here. I just, when it's all in one and somebody's in the bathroom or the shower, you know, I like to have it split. Split. And then I loved having a vanity mm -hmm. to put my makeup on. I can't see anymore without my glasses, so, <laughs> you know. I and you have good natural light coming in the window, too. Exactly. I just love this floor plan. It's um, so open. Yeah. We took down the cabinets. There was cabinetry here. Um, we don't full-time so we don't we, we've got more storage than we'll ever need in this thing so we took that down that gave us more space yeah. in here great job and um you have like, washer and dryer got the washer and dryer got the dishwasher i mean Absolutely. it's got everything you need didn't like the bathroom so we put shiplap in the bathroom oh yeah that's pretty oh yeah i could see that through the crack i've thought about they have they make a shiplap uh, wallpaper Yes, I would do that totally. And I've thought about we that. We thought about doing that. That's um, pretty. You want to see in the bathroom, I, Kathy? I could see through the crack here. It was just, you know, like a little... Oh, yeah, very nice. Mm -hmm. We had the 80s um, border all yeah. around. We took that <laughs> down, obviously. Yeah. And he put up new um, glass tile. That's just stick-on. Here. But it's real, real glass. Right. And then in the kitchen, we did the stainless steel stick-on tile, and it was a lot of work, but we like it. Took out cabinets down, side cabinets here too, so we were able to fit a, a king, king in because it came with a queen. And um, we love this. This mm -hmm. was, um, I love it. It's open. Yeah, mm -hmm. custom. Like you can, what is it? Original mattress factory. They'll do anything. You can yeah. get them to do any size. They'll curve the the. In so so it fit. fits. Yep, love them, and yeah. it's not that expensive. disappointed when he when we started working on it was he thought all the cabinetry was solid wood and when you get in here you realize that the doors are solid but the the other part is not. Uh -huh. But other than that he's been really happy with it. Yeah. Yeah. You know? And I, I like the floor plan a lot. And yeah. I like the open yes. I think even in now in a lot of new modern homes the cabinetry is not all wood it's no. just the doors and you know you understand it in a trailer because they're trying to keep the Wait. weight down but this is a beast of a trailer
they put their smart car back here and their motorcycle right there and their kayaks up there. Got everything you need. I love the I love the colors. Yeah, beautiful job. Well, what a beautiful rig it was, and we want to thank them for allowing us to come inside, take a look and see what they've done. And you may be renovating a rig yourself, so wanted to give you some ideas of some of the things that they have done to their rig. Now that's better than Ricky, that's better than Ricky Parker's canopy any day. <laughs> and again, we want to thank you for viewing our channel. And uh, if you haven't done so, please like and subscribe so you won't miss Ricky and I as we are soaring together.